Hello everyone, it's Valga here, and welcome to my first tutorial on artillery in combat mission. Now, as you may have just seen, the mortar only has six rounds, which uh, isn't an awful lot. So, what we're going to do first is check our mortar's ammo bearer, which so happens to have nine high explosive rounds and a smoke round on him. But it's not much good in being in that building all the way over there, as uh, the mortar can't use those rounds. So what we're going to do, we're going to send him over to the mortar, and uh, when he gets close enough, we'll check on the mortar's ammunition, and hopefully it'll go up from 6 to 15. So let's see what happens now. And there we go, now we can see that the mortar has access to the ammunition. So it's always a good uh, idea to keep the ammo bearer close by to the actual mortar in battle. So let's go over to the forward observers and call in a fire mission. But we can't do that for the simple fact that there's no way to communicate with the mortar team. So of course we'll have to get a radio to the mortar team so they can actually get instructions. So now that radio has actually arrived, let's uh, try calling in a fire mission again. Unfortunately, the forward observers still can't contact the mortar team. Maybe this is because uh, a British team can't contact an American team, not on the same radios, perhaps. So let's uh, try bringing out a British radio. Well, yet again, it's still the same, and it's nothing to do with the nationality of the unit. As we can see here, this British officer, he belongs to A Company of the 4th Battalion, where the actual mortar team is in the support company of the 2nd Battalion. So the basic reasoning is that the forward observer is trying to contact the support company but there's no radio from the support company near the mortar team. So for this to work we'll actually need an officer from the same company near the mortar team. So finally, the forward observer is actually in contact with the mortar team now as we can see here. Just note that the estimated time at the bottom is 5 minutes. Now we'll go to another forward observer team and we'll see what their estimated time is. We can see that it's actually 7 minutes now. This is for the simple reason that this team is green experience so it takes longer whereas the original team was a veteran so it takes a shorter amount of time. So now we're all ready to start the mission. But even though you may think it, this isn't the most efficient setup we could possibly have for the mortar team. Let's see what else we could do. As you can see in the background, there's actually vehicles. And what's in these vehicles is quite important. Okay, Sergeant. Mortar rounds. So let's drive it up into range of the mortar team and see what happens. And there we go, we have a lot more ammunition than we did before. So it's always worth checking out what's actually inside of vehicles in the game. So now let's uh, start our fire mission. Mm, something's changed. The delivery time was 5 minutes before, now it says 4. So let's check what the other team says now. Hmm, actually, it's now five minutes rather than at seven minutes it was before. So what's the reason for this? Well, it's quite simple, really. As you can see here, the vehicle has a radio. So this means the forward observer team can contact the mortar team directly. As opposed to the command unit having to relay instructions. So the command unit isn't even really needed, the mortar team will just use the radio that's in the actual vehicle instead. So 
So now what we're going to do is try seeing what happens when the vehicle moves away from the mortar team. As we can now see the radio icons disappeared. Which means the forward observers can't contact the mortar team anymore. But it's appeared again. That's simply for the reason that as long as the radio is in range it can be used. Now let's try moving the vehicle back a little more. As we can see the radio has disappeared again and it doesn't come back this time. That's because the vehicle is too far a distance to be used. The same goes with the ammunition. The usage distance is around 20 meters. So if we move the vehicle back we can see the ammunition is available again. And not long after coming to a halt, the radio is in use too. And of course the second vehicle is also carrying mortar ammunition. Okay, sir. And as we can see the driver isn't needed to be in the actual vehicle to use the radio or the ammunition that's stored inside. So now that's all done, we'll call in a fire mission on the barn. We'll go through the different kinds of fire missions we can do in the next video. Hello, fire mission, over! Now we'll talk about the stages of the fire mission. It starts off with the receiving stage. With the current set up, this should take between 1 and 2 minutes with direct communication to the mortar team. It was more than 2 minutes without direct communication through the command unit. And after that comes the preparation stage, which is then followed by the spotting stage and finally the firing stage. These stages will be explained more in the following video. So while a vehicle isn't necessary, you can use an officer to relay the message to the mortar team, but this does take slightly longer, just keep in mind. So now that's done, we're finally in the spotting stage. In this stage, the mortar will fire off rounds, and the forward observer will give direction as to how far off the round was, and give appropriate adjustments. Just to note, it's quite important that the forward observer actually has sight of the target and where the mortar rounds drop, but we'll explain that more in the next video. So when the observer's happy with where the rounds are falling, he'll uh, send this radio message. Fire for effect, over. Followed by the mortar team's response. Fire for effect, out. Now the round should start falling on target. So hopefully this video has helped with on-map mortar logistics and has helped to explain how to make the mortars most efficient with communication. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.